Onkumbula Combined School is one of the better performing schools in the Oshikot region despite some challenges. The school is deep in the remote areas of the vast Okankolo constituency and last year surpassed their state target of 60% in grade 10 results. They had 120 learners, of which 99 progressed to grade 11. The school faces challenges of accommodation as some learners are working more than 10 kilometers to and from school due to the vastness of the constituency. About 45 of the learners are accommodated in this community hostel, which was built more than 10 years ago with funds donated by the government of Libya. Learners have no proper beds and mattresses to sleep on, let alone the ablution facilities, and they are forced to bath in open air. I have seen that uh, the children who are accommodated here are living in a, in, in a very terrible uh, situation. Uh, their health cannot be guaranteed uh, in terms of the, uh, the environment in which they find themselves. Their kitchen is falling apart as there is no proper maintenance. The regional councillor has managed to construct two toilets under the rural area toilet construction program. The regional council also provided two matrons at the hostel paid under the regional council's office. The two matrons, however, have no proper accommodation as they are forced to sleep in the toilet facilities for the meantime as the toilets are not in use due to a lack of water. You have seen where they are you know, taking bath or shower. It's an open area. We have seen where they are cooking their food. Food, you know, the kitchen is not enclosed, it's not protected from wind or any other uh, you know, influence that might also be detrimental to the health of the children. I think the government needs to, you know, to come in. I will uh, convey, you know, the message uh, to my colleague, the Minister of Education. Despite the challenges faced by the school, Kapanda applauded it for putting Oshikota on the map by providing outstanding performance. He encouraged them to work hard as the government will look into their plight.